This short video can help you identify any possible problems with your TIU installation and provide a solution. If you have just commissioned the unit, have the readings to hand for primary flow temperature, primary flow rate with heating on, and primary flow rate with direct hot water on. If you are revisiting an installation, then you can find the original readings on the commissioning checklist. They can then be double checked on the heat meter. From the home screen, press the button on the heat meter five times for primary flow rate. Press the button six times from the home screen or one additional time from the flow rate screen for the primary flow temperature. Now we have the readings, our first step is to establish exactly what is working. If the heating is working, you will see a green LED on the circulation pump. The red indicator in the centre of the zone valve should be clearly popped out. This can take up to three minutes after the heating is switched on, so remember to wait a moment to be sure. If the direct hot water is working, the black knob in the centre of the diverter valve actuator will rotate, or will have rotated counterclockwise. The red mark on the knob will have moved from the 5 o'clock position to the 1 o'clock position. If you have no heating and no direct hot water. Check the fuse and ensure the main switch is on. Check that the differential pressure control valve is open by rotating the black handle counterclockwise. Check that the connection ball valves are open. Check that the diverter valve has been assembled correctly. To disassemble, pull the knob at the front of the diverter by gripping it and pulling it towards you. Placing a screwdriver in the centre, undo the screw under the knob. This could take a few rotations. Then carefully remove the screw. Remove the actuator head by gripping it and pulling it towards you. Remove the adapter from the centre of the valve again by pulling towards you. To reassemble the diverter, ensure that the flat edge of the central shaft is positioned at the bottom of the valve. To reposition, use the knob from the diverter. With the red indicator aligned to the flat edge and rotate the shaft to the correct position. Relocate the adapter ensuring that the slot aligns with the flat edge and the collar is away from the valve. Place the knob back into the actuator head and rotate clockwise until the indicator is in the 5 o'clock position, then remove the knob. Replace the actuator head onto the adapter. Insert and tighten the screw to secure the actuator head onto the body. Replace the knob by pushing it into the actuator head, ensuring that it is fully inserted and secure. If you have direct hot water and heating, but insufficient amounts. The differential pressure control valve may be at the incorrect setting. To adjust the differential pressure control valve, first check that the valve is fully open. If you are unsure, close the valve by rotating the handle clockwise until it stops. Then reopen the valve by rotating the handle counterclockwise until it stops. Finally, turn half a rotation clockwise. The valve is preset to the advised setting of 30 kPa. If the setting needs to be changed, insert a 4mm Allen key into the centre of the handle and rotate anti-clockwise as far as possible to fully loosen the spring and achieve 20 kPa. To achieve an alternative setting, reference the valve setting table in the installation and maintenance guide and rotate the Allen key clockwise the number of rotations stated for the required differential pressure setting. Rotating the Allen key eight times will achieve the recommended 30 kPa. The change to the primary flow rate can be checked on the heat meter on screen five. It is important to remember the reading can take a moment to settle. If you have completely cold or tepid direct hot water. The network flow temperature may be too low. If you have recorded a primary flow temperature below 65 degrees, contact the network operator. The TIU cannot supply heating or direct hot water if the primary flow temperature is below 65 degrees. Check the setting on the thermal bypass valve. The valve should be set to 45 degrees or position 1 on the valve dial. To adjust the temperature, push down on the plastic locking ring and rotate the head to the desired setting, clicking the lock ring back into place once finished. Check the setting of the thermostatic mixing valve. To adjust, remove the screw which secures the cap using a 2.5mm Allen key. You can then turn the cap clockwise to decrease or anti-clockwise to increase the temperature. Once the correct temperature has been set, refit the cap, ensuring it is secured through the slots on the locking ring so that the valve cannot be adjusted by the end user. 
There are further details on servicing the TMV in the installation and maintenance guide. If you have no heating, check that the external heating controls are on and correctly set. If you have completely cold or tepid heating, the secondary flow temperature may be too low if the thermostatic heating control valve setting is too low. To adjust, simply turn the dial to the required number, remembering to click the locking ring back into place after to prevent further accidental adjustment. You can find further troubleshooting tips in the back of your installation and maintenance guide, and our knowledgeable, friendly technical team are on hand to assist over the phone and via email. Simply call 01386 712 400 or send an email to technical.uk at rwc.com. Thank you.